Hi mamas, happy Tuesday. So today we're going to be talking about um, communication in relationships. Um, it's summertime and you know, I think it's a time that where we're dealing with a lot more people, kids are more, you know, kids are at home, so it's changing um, the way we do things. So we wanted to how to communicate better. Um, with your partner, with your kids, with yourself. I'm just adding Maya on here. Hi. Hi. Okay. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> so communication, huge, huge, yeah. huge thing in, yeah. um, you know, our, our energy, our health, if our relationships aren't, you know, healthy and balanced and clear, you know, then there's that lack of energy inside and self doubt. So, you know, it's a huge thing to have clear communication. So right. The first steps is to create a device free zone. Now you can like set a time during the day, let's say that everybody puts their phones away at let's say 4 PM and you know, you get time to connect and you know, not get as, as distracted, you know, because a lot of times we, turn to our phones yeah. to kind of tune out of what's going on in the present moment. But everything that um, we want and we create, we, we want to create is, is only in the present moment, you know, so a lot. So giving yourself right. that. And, and the, yeah. Yeah. And so whether, whether it's your phone or whether it's a computer or a TV or any of those things, it makes a complete disconnect. So, you know, you're not making eye contact, you're probably not like touching, whether it's your kids or your partner or whoever, friends, you know, you're just not making yeah. connection. So having that space, so it could be a time of day, if it's within your household, or if you're out to dinner with friends, like I've seen memes where, you know, everybody puts their phone in the middle of the table, and you know, it's a no phone zone. So there's a lot of fun ways that you can do it, but it can help a lot with having connection, which in turn helps communicating. Because I know for myself, having time where it's not, um, you know, whatever, watching a movie or something like that, the times where it's just kind of like hanging out, have so, out. Much, yeah. so much better conversations, you know, and like really like, how's your day versus like, oh, how's your day? And then like not really right. listening and not really being heard. And then I know like for me, that totally triggers me if somebody, if I'm talking to somebody and they're looking at their phone, <laughs> it's crazy. So that's one little suggestion that we had. And then another one is doing activities together, whether again, whether it's your kids or your friends or your partner, have doing activities again, instead of, you know, going to the movies or even going to a yoga class, those you're not really talking or getting mm -hmm. connection or communicating you're with each other, but you know, you're just sharing a space. Um, so doing something in nature. So going on a walk or going on a hike or hiking is amazing. Yeah. It, it yeah. opens up a lot of those you know, conversations that you've had inside, it moves your energy, moves your body. Also, nature is very healing. You know, it's something that everybody can do. You know, you could set it on the calendar where you can have a nature walk, you know, every like once a week or every other week. Mike, that's a big, a big thing, you know, especially where I live in the winter, you know, a lot of activities are going to cost money, but this time of year, it's really great to take advantage of being able to do things outside. And it could be you get the kids in bed and then you go have like, go sit outside. You know, the days are long right now. You can go sit outside. And I know it's still, my kids go to bed, hopefully, you know, around seven, seven thirty. So, you know, I might still have an hour or so of daylight left. So just little things like that. It doesn't have to cost you a lot of money. It can still be something that you can do while, you know, you could be outside, your kids can be inside and you can still know that they're, you know, unless they're like a little tiny baby. It adds a but, little cost being, you know, being spontaneous adds a little more excitement into your life, you know? So, and also don't be afraid of like silence. You know, a lot of times they're like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. You know, I don't want to bring this up, you know, just 
connect with your breath, you know, like sit with your partner, or your kids, and just tune into your breath and see what comes up. You know, right. if you want to speak about something, go ahead. If you want to be silent, like, I think silence is okay, you know, and I think people are. It is. I know for me, being yeah. able to be comfortable with someone in silence mm -hmm. is a huge, like, that kind of, that helps me to pull them into my, my inner circle, you right. know, because I feel like that's like, I can be quiet because, it's, you know, I like to be quiet sometimes. Yeah. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm in into your breath, you know, and that yeah. really helps to take that attention from like, oh my gosh, like, where's this going to go to, you know, let me relax my thoughts, my mind, let me connect right. to my heart and speak from the heart, you know, and just, connect. and I know, I know from experience, you know, my kids are five and nine and it can be really loud uh, just with two children. And so it's really funny on the weekends when they aren't home, it is so quiet. It's so quiet. And, but I never, you know, with my partner, I never feel awkward with the silence. Like he, we're very, we're both very um, comfortable with that. But I remember in my previous relationship, of being like, oh my God, this is so awkward, you know? And, and but it was because we never had the, the little connection time because it could be five minutes at night. You know, you can still, you know, watch some Netflix later, but like have five minutes, you know? So just a little bit each day, sort of like meditation, you know, you right. get more benefits to meditation right. if you right. meditate every day, similarly in your relationships. So if you have even just five minutes of just, no phones, just like make eye contact. <laughs> yeah. I, with you too. No. Yeah. 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 So, anyway, that's, that's, it's, and, it can be super easy. Outside of life, it's just, it's not as stressful because, you know, you have that base, that foundation with you. Like, relationships are, you know, so important. And a lot of times we take them for granted. So, like, be grateful for everybody around you, you know? Don't yeah. focus, you know, focus on the positive on the, the, you know, how people make your life easier, you know? Mm -hmm. I know a lot of times there are moms here who, you know, don't get as much help, but I think if you start focusing on the help that you've got along the way and refocus that attention to, oh, like, you know, like you'll start getting thoughts of like, maybe that person is available again, or, you know, like things like that, just to, to not focus on the lack of not have, having help, just to focus on, exactly. focus, the, focus help on the, along the way. So, and then yeah. tip number three we have is to make the time, you know, put that time in, into your schedule. You know, if it's not right. on the calendar, it's not happening, you know? Yeah. Um, or yeah. It could be something that, hey, you know, if you make it a priority, you're more likely to stick to it and make it happen. Right. So, and it can be six months out. It doesn't like, you know, right now your summer might be really busy and, it's hard to find a babysitter and that stuff, but it could be, you know, schedule it starting in September when things start slowing down, schedule at least a monthly date, you know, and same thing. Like I know I'm doing this with my kids is I'm having, cause I am a single mom. So I am parenting alone. Uh, I'll, I'll, when I'm parenting, I'm parenting alone. <laughs> and so, um, so I'm starting to just take, take a half day each week with, each child that way we get that time together because them the three of us together is a much different dynamic than when it's one-on-one -on -one. their personalities are totally different because they end up you know they they want me all to themselves so they kind of end up bickering and, and those sort of things and when they're with me they know they have all my attention and again just like we talked about with doing activities so i'm doing activities with them so yesterday i took my daughter just one we go to the pool all the time just went to the two of us so then she knew that i could just get in i could go in the deep end without worrying about her brother and all you know so and it was really you know it completely turned her whole week like you know i i was i'm really glad that i put that at the beginning of my week because they had just come out of the weekend with their dad so she really just needed that time so Anyway, scheduling it, getting it in the calendar, you know, if it, if right now your, your calendar is really booked, just look, look further out and then you have something to look forward to. And then you can also implement, you know, these other little tips, but there's a lot of things about scheduling and time management and getting that time for both yourself and with your loved ones. Um, in our class that we're doing live on Thursday, 
at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So it'll be right here. 11.15. Okay. I had it in the calendar at 11. 11.15. My apologies. Eastern Standard Time. Um, it'll be right here in the group. And we will just be talking a lot about time management and making the most of your time and scheduling and then what to do when you do have that time. So right. we're super and excited. So different aspects of timing. We talk a lot about um, cycles, which is a new way of thinking with, you know, like with your schedule, with what's going on in your life, with the seasons, with, you know, different moon cycles and different, you know, cycles that you're in with, with your body. Um, mm -hmm. So being able to schedule with that. And we covered that pretty deeply in the masterclass, which will be yeah. on Tuesday. Yeah. So I, I pinned the event right to the top of the page. Um, so if you want to have a little reminder, you can say yes to the event and we will see you there. Yes. And if you have any other uh, questions on scheduling, just right. post them in. We'll address them in in the live class yeah. on Thursday. So you can post them right in the event. And then also, if you have questions as we go, as we're live, we are happy to, we'll save a little time and to cover any questions you have. All right. Awesome. Talk to you all, all soon. Right. Bye. Bye.